In this video we're going to prove the quotient rule from the chain and the product rules. And the quotient rule allows us to differentiate functions like this, y equals cos x over x cubed. Uh, so I'm going to write this as y equals u over v, where u is cos x and v is uh, x cubed. And I'm not going to look at this actual example, but just to make the notation, make sure the notation is clear, u dashed is what I'm going to use for du by dx, here that would be minus sine x, and v dashed is what is the notation I'm going to use for dv by dx. Uh, which here would be 3x squared. But we're not worried about this example, I want to prove the quotient rule in general. So to start off with, I'm going to uh, try and differentiate uh, 1 over v, and then we'll differentiate uh, u over v in the next step. Now, this then is d by dx of v to the minus 1. Your basic indices, 1 over v is v to the minus 1. And so by the chain rule, this gives us minus 1 times v to the minus 2 uh, times the derivative of v, so times uh, v dashed. So if you like I could write that as uh, minus v dashed over v squared. So to differentiate uh, u over v, which is what we want to do then, I can think of this as the derivative of u times 1 over v, and then apply the product rule. So I've got to differentiate the first one, so I'm going to differentiate u to give u dashed and leave the second alone, so times 1 over v, and then I'm going to, di I'm going to this time I'm going to leave u alone and differentiate 1 over v, and we've just seen that the derivative of 1 over v is uh, minus v over, uh, minus v dashed, sorry, over v squared. So uh, this is uh, so this one is u dashed over v, and this is uh, well I say plus here, but actually there's a minus here. So let's say minus u v dashed over v squared, and then putting these over a common denominator of v squared, I just need to multiply this one top and bottom by v. So that would be u dashed v, uh, and this was still u v dashed all over v squared, and that then is exactly the quotient rule. And of course you could also you know write down the uh, quotient rule is saying that you know dy by uh, dx is equal to uh, du by dx times v minus u times dv by dx all over v squared. That's another way of writing this with u dash written as du by dx and v dash written as dv by dx. Sometimes you see uh, each of these notations used, and here y would have to be uh, u over v. Uh, so that's the uh, quotient rule. So, um, quite interesting then that actually when we prove the the uh, product rule, we just need to use the chain rule, and the quotient rule just relied on the proof. Uh, you know, the fact the fact that the chain rule and the product rule had always been already been proved. If you wanted to prove this directly without even using the the uh, product rule, you could use the same argument from that proof and look at differentiating u plus one over v uh, all squared. Have a look back to that video if you're not sure what I'm talking about, but you could do it directly just using uh, the chain rule.